This video will show how to graph a reference spectrum alongside XRD data so that we can compare and contrast how the data corresponds to different crystal structures as shown here. So here's my data. And then so I'm going to grab a reference spectrum, uh, grab the angle and the intensity, do control shift down, copy. There's the angle. And the intensity values. So if we just graphed this, it would with the line plot, it would look different than what we expect. What we want is a baseline of zero with lines where the intensity is instead of connecting each intensity value, which doesn't really show what the spectrum is supposed to look like. So to get how we want it to look like, we want to have the angle values repeated three times. And then for the intensity, zero for the first value and zero for the third value and in the middle equal to the intensity value. So that again would be the next angle value. Zero is 100 and zero again. So if we graph this, we'll see it starts at zero at that angle of 25 and goes up the intensity value and then back down to zero and then goes across at zero and then back up to this intensity value and back down. So we get a, a baseline of zero and um, like a stem plot where each intensity value should be. So what we'd want is to just be able to copy this down. But how it is now, that doesn't work. Um, instead of Excel, instead of pulling this value up here, it pulls a value right across. So this one right here. So instead, I'm going to use a function called offset. Just delete these ones. So offset, if we bring up the help for it, it uses a, a reference cell and returns a cell that's a certain number of rows and columns away from that reference cell. So um, I'm going to use the cell right across from it. And so then I need a value to put in for the rows. So you can imagine that um, the, the amount is increasing um, in a periodic way that we need to go up to return to the cell that we need, we need to um, output. So for this one, we need to go up one, two, three, four. If If we're in this cell and we use this cell as a reference, we need to go up one, two, and then for this one, it would be zero. So in this column, I'm gonna start a index. We'll go like zero, go down three cells, then negative two, go down three cells, negative four. So we can copy this down and it'll repeat for the remainder of the cells. We do this here. Do offset. So we reference the cell and then we use this value for the amount we go up in rows and then zero for the columns because we don't change in the columns. And then the next cell down, 
I'll just reference this up. And the next little down the same thing. And then you can just grab this and drag it down. And so the next cell is 35. And then the next cell is 37. And then the next one is 41. So that works. And then for the intensity, the same issue. Uh, we use offset again. And so we reference the cell that's right here. So for this one, we need to go up negative one to be negative one, and then go down one, two, three, and it's negative three. So for right here, we reference this cell, we go up one, two, three. And this can also be copied down. The same way. So this is offset, reference the cell, this number of rows, and zero columns. So one thing when copying down the intensity, ideally you'd want to just like grab this and copy it down, but that doesn't quite work. It brings up ones and twos for some reason. So instead, I want to grab these three and copy down. And you can see 51, 51, 100, 100, 41, 41. Yeah, that works. Copy these ones down some more. So that time I picked the wrong thing to copy down, didn't um, repeat the off even numbers. Again, some more. So I need to go up to 90 because our, our data only goes up to 90. See, it looks like that, which is great. Um, then I can copy this graph and paste into this one, and then more back. So you'll see the the reference spectrum is there. So I also want to. Um, add some values to shift it and scale it, like I've done with the data. So in this column, I'll reference this cell and wait. So I wanna shift it up a value. So I wanna shift it up a value and maybe scale it something. We'll see. And this equals this sum times this amount scaled. And I want to make this cell fixed. So I'll put uh, dollar signs next to the, the letter and the number. And then the same for the amount I want to shift it. Okay. 
Um, I'll just grab this and move it over here. And then maybe shift this up some more. So there's one reference spectrum with the data. It's also, I think I should add um, one more value up here. I wanna add an angle value of 10 and zero so that the line continues all the way to the edge. Yep. So additionally, I can add another reference phase to the same graph. See, to track it all to podium. Same thing, copy the, the angles. And the intensity. Now, one thing I can do to make this easier is I can add a dollar sign to this, to this reference, dollar sign there. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. So that fixes the column. So then I can just copy these uh, formulas. And paste them right there. And so it's still referring to the um, end column. And so we've got the 30 repeated three times, 34 repeated three times, and then each intensity value. And so I'll do the same thing. I'll, um, however many, and it's important to scale all the references by the same amount, so that they're they're equal. Um, on my computer, the shortcut for dollar signs is FN, F4, but it might be different on other computers. Graph that out. Copy this graph and then just paste it on this one. It's nice and easy. Just 
the offset values or the, the shifted values just to make things look nice. And so here's what my graph looked like in the end after I played around with the shift values and formatted it how I liked. Um, so key, key takeaways with this method is the offset functions. You can repeat the angles three times and this indexing that goes zero, negative two, negative four, every three cells and the same for the intensity values. I think it's negative one, negative three, negative five, every three cells. So, yeah. Thank you for listening.